Hi ladies, so um, I wanted to do a quick pregnancy update. Basically, I haven't updated you guys since week 10, so I have to go over week 11, week 12, and week 13, because I am in, my, in the midst of my week 14 now. Um, before I go into that, I wanted to clarify, um, so I had my first prenatal appointment last Tuesday. Um, almost a week ago and my doctor basically said that she wanted to stick with my due date from my last menstrual period rather than sticking with the due date from the ultrasound um, although the tech said that typically she likes to go with the ultrasound due date she said because I was so well monitored um, she just wants to stick with the menstrual cycle or the my last um, menstrual period um, so that would make my estimated due date at December 1st not December 5th, um, so, but, you know, who knows, really, um, but, so that means that I'm 14 weeks in one day, so, now that everyone is totally confused, and I'm totally confused, um, but it is very exciting to know that I'm further along than I thought I was, anyway, so, um, very exciting, I have noticed that basically I, it seems to be that I am textbook along with that timeline as opposed to four to five days behind. Um, I have felt like I was right along with 14, like today, 14 weeks in one day as opposed to being like 13 weeks in whatever days I would be now. Um, so anyways, I am now in my first tri or second trimester, done with the first trimester, yippee! Um, so basically the only things that really went on around 11 and 12 weeks was that um, I started to get a little bit more energy I definitely was feeling um, like I could do more um, and I was able to eat more things <laughs> um, and yeah that's really it um, everything else has been pretty much the same of course, I, you know, if I go, go, go throughout the day, I just totally crash at night. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's just been, honestly, since I got into the second trimester, it's been like, am I still pregnant? Is everything okay? And I told my doctor that. I said, you know, I feel like I am not pregnant anymore because I feel normal. And she's like, that's normal. You know, you are, it's supposed, the second trimester is supposed to be the best trimester. So, um, knock on wood, I'm hoping that this keeps and that everything um, is just going great. So, um, yeah, basically I've noticed that my belly has, I don't know, I feel like it popped around 10 to 11 weeks. And it definitely has steadily grown um, since then. I'll insert some belly shots from um, 11, 12, and 13 weeks at the end of this video so be on the lookout for that and um, yeah so that's basically it for that update um, I don't really think there was anything else I don't have anything in my notes I've been so bad about writing down things so but I really just don't remember anything spectacular happening um, I think I have felt the baby I think um, you know you never know whether it's just like gas or something but um, I, I think I have felt the baby. <laughs> um, I had this weird feeling of like this, it was almost like it like lumped in my uterus or something. It was like something like fell or something. And um, I was kind of like, oh my God, what was that? So I called the doctor's office and they were like, um, well, you're 12 weeks and typically, or 13 weeks, I don't remember, it was either 12 or 13 weeks. And typically the baby's starting to have um, mo a lot of motion, so you might actually be feeling your baby. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So um, that's been really cool. And um, we were able to hear the heartbeat. Uh, so it was 176 during our ultrasound at, at um, 10 weeks and two days. And then this time, I was 13 weeks and two days, right? Yeah, 13 weeks and two days. And um, 
we got to hear the heartbeat, and the heartbeat was in the 160s, so we have a healthy little bean. Um, I have to admit, I was so nervous at the beginning of the prenatal appointment before we went in, because I don't know, I think it's just like at the beginning, you know, you're just kind of like worried, you know, it's like, oh gosh, it's been so long since we got to see or hear the baby or anything, so is everything going okay in there? And so when I heard that heartbeat, I just was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Um, and so then I just basically my first prenatal appointment, she did an exam, uh, you know, full, full exam. And then she did, um, she, I had to get some blood work done. They gave me a fun little package of goodies. Um, and I just talked with my doctor about a possible birth plan. I had a lot of questions for her. Um, and like what I can eat, what I can't eat, what I can take, what I can't take, um, prenatals, you know, stuff like that. So, um, anyway, so yeah, that was a really, really great visit. It was very informative. And we also scheduled the gender scan. So we have the gender scan on June 20th, which is a Thursday, which is like three weeks away. And, um, and then we are planning a gender reveal party. So a lot of my family and um, friends are coming into town. And so we get to know what the baby is. I think what we're leaning towards is that Sean wants to know at the ultrasound. So he'll know at the ultrasound. Um, and obviously I want him to you know do whatever he wants to do as far as that goes because I'm not going to tell him that he can't know yet. Um, and then... I think I'm going to try very hard to not know until the party. So um, I'll find out with um, with everyone else. And I think we're going to use a cake. So he'll be responsible for going to get the cake and making sure that it's you know right. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else to update you guys on. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, there just really, honestly, there just hasn't been too much going on. Um, and just enjoying everything, you know, just enjoying this time. And um, sorry, Bella is down here. She's wanting some attention. So I'm trying to give her a little bit of attention so she doesn't bark her head off. Um... But yeah, so it's a very exciting time for us, um, and we're excited to be in the second trimester. I'm excited that we'll know what the what this little baby is um, in um, like two and a half weeks or something. And um, also, uh, if you have any <laughs> recommendations of what to do in order to like make sure that the baby is cooperative. I've heard of people like drinking a little bit of Diet Coke before the ultrasound just so that the baby will be moving. Um, so if you have any of those, because I would just die if we went and we couldn't figure out the gender and then I have all of these people flying in, driving in for this party and to be like, we still don't know. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll be 16 weeks and let's think, one, two, three, four days. So. Hopefully that'll be enough. I would I would think so. I'd hope so. Um, and then I think that's it. So um, I am going to do a cloth diaper haul. That'll be my next video this week. And um, I'm gonna try to have my 14 14 week um, pregnancy update up next Monday or next Tuesday. So, um, yes, I think that's about it. So thank you so much for following this journey. We're so excited. Um, and congratulations to all of the women that have gotten your BFPs. Um, I really, and I'm praying and thinking of all of you women going through, um, IVF or IUIs or your two week waits. Um, just try to keep busy and just stay positive. I know it's so difficult, but um, you're all doing such great things. So um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.